Good day everyone, my name is Arslan and uh, welcome to the third dimension. So, you know, today we have a, a very interesting and short video regarding uh, pillows inside uh, Revit. So, I mean, there are quite a few videos available on this, but I thought I'd just make a video and I'll show you guys what methods I use in order to make, um, you know, pillows for my interior renderings what my workflow is so I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, so let's get started with this so we start a new model we open up a furniture template and uh, we go to RP we plus uh, RP we make four reference planes uh, that's the top and this is gonna be the front so let's uh, quickly rename this on um, back and uh, this is gonna be the Front. Oops, the spelling is wrong. F R O N T. And uh, let's give this the left. And we are on a reference level. We have to remember that. And uh, right. At the same time, uh, let's give out our dimensions, which is D I, the shortcut for it. And uh, let's give it an equal. Let's lock it. Uh, same case for these two again equal and uh, press that and uh, now let's press un and uh, let's quickly change the length to centimeters because I, uh, I found it's you know a bit easy instead of these feet and inches so now we're done with these we have locked and we have made the dimensions now again let's just press rp and uh, let's choose pick line and let's give it an offset of um, three inches three inches uh, let's uh, you know give it four offsets we need four different lines so similarly let's um, let's again uh, go to dimensions and uh, let's lock these so lock In case for this, let's lock all four of them. So now let's uh, start with our extrusion for the pillow. So extrusion and uh, you know we'll be using start and end radius. So so the, the, that's why I had given it that um, that three inches of an offset. All right so this is what until now we have made now you know let's go back to reference lines and uh, let's make a parameter out of this dimension so this would be the the length and uh, let's go to instance similarly in this case this would be the width w i d t h and instance now let's let's give it a try so uh, let's go for 140 yep uh, you know we have we have in a way i've proved that our our extrusion is locked with these reference lines so this is what I want to do so this is a very good practice I mean if you want to check out whether your model is right or wrong otherwise you're gonna have a lot of bugs later on so now let's go to realistic so our extrusion is done let's, now let's go to the front view and let's even make um, I mean let's set uh, a thickness let's set a thickness for it let's create uh, the workflow for families is the same so thickness or depth and as usual let's make a parameter of this okay let's give it a dimension and uh, for this moment let's set a value to centimeters let's go to 
and uh, as usual let's create a parameter from this dimension so depth of flow and uh, as usual instance let's uh, lock the top of our surface through the L line tool and lock so now we have you know we have we have made our parametric pillow inside Revit now let's just uh, check our the, the parameters that we have made so the depth let's set it to 30 yes it has changed similarly and the width and the length we have already checked so everything is fine now now let's go to our create and uh, you know let's first rename this okay we have named it to depth so let's go to our 3d view and uh, you know we even have a, a reference sheet uh, it's just a random image which I found so these are the five different sizes of pillows that we have for now let's go to the standard which is 20 by 26 inches so let's go to our family types and uh, 20 by 26 and uh, you know it's 50 20 by 76 inches but for centimeters it's going to be 51 by 66 so 51 by 66 so now we have made our standard uh, standard pillow right which is the first one mm. so now in order to further improve the shape we are going to use a void sweep for void sweep first we are going to sketch the part so before sketching the part let's set the work plane to the depth which we initially made and you can even press show so that you know you could see what work plane you're working on so let's go to pick lines and uh, press tab again and again until you get this let's lock it locking it is very important because when you change the parameters so there are going to be a lot of errors if you don't lock uh, this sweep onto your object so that is done now let's go let's just uh, click on this let's go to edit profile and now the magic is going to happen now you know we're 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 looking for a doom all right we have to make a doom our shape is going to be a doomed shape our, our profile is going to be a doomed uh, profile now you're going to understand what am i talking about so this is going to get uh, i mean you could you know you can be creative this part in our case i'm going to use the spline tool in fact let's just use this so And uh, let's mirror it on the other side I think this is perfect for now and of course you can spend more time on this and you can make it however you want in this case let's just set this and uh, let's slightly move this to the right so that you won't have any errors so use the, the trim and extend which is very important Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of errors in this. Trim and extend, trim and extend. Uh, okay, and uh, and uh, okay. So this is the shape we have made. Uh, I think this is. Um, it looks fine. Uh, it's not bad. So of course, you can improve the profile a little bit. You can spend more time on the profile. For now, let's uh, let's just use this. I think it looks okay. Uh, for example, yeah, I think it looks fine for now. So now let's just uh, select this and uh, you know let's just um, select both of them. And uh, for the materials, we even need a parameter for the materials. So there's this small, um, you know, tab. Let's call it a tab. The small 
rectangle right here. If you click, if you click, if you click this, you can make a parameter for the material, right? So fabric material and uh, instance, and it's going to be material and finishes. So let's just choose this. So now let's go to our family parameters. For the material, we can simply uh, choose uh, fabric. Now uh, let's just choose some. Um, okay, let's choose this one. Place. Apply. So we have added the fabric material into it. Now we are going to make our five different uh, sets of settings or parameters for this according to the reference image that we have. So the first one is 51 by 66 centimeters. That's fine. Let's make the second one a new type and uh, let's uh, name it as a uh, standard. Fine. Uh, the second one is going to be uh, super standard and queen. So super standard. And uh, the next one is going to be queen. After that, we have the king and the body. So the king. And uh, the last one is the body. So now let's go to our standard. So this is our standard. We don't need to change that. Let's go to the second one, which is the super standard super standard for this the size is 51 by 71 centimeters so 51 by 71 okay the second one is set the third one is the queen which is 51 by 76 so let's choose the queen 51 by 76 and uh, the second last one is king which is 51 by 92 centimeters so, okay, we don't need to, the king, which is 51 by, seven, by 92 centimeters, so 92. And the last one is the body, which is 51 by 137. So the body is 51 by 137. I can't create the sweep. Is it because of the profile? In this case, I think we would have to change the profile. So for this moment, let's just uh, give it uh, 100. Okay. 51 by 80. And 80. Okay, that's fine. So now, you know, this is the realistic cushion. I think it's complete. And now let's load it into a profile and uh, let's check it out. So this is the standard one, all right. So as usual, file, new, and uh, project. Uh, let's create an architectural template. So now when we go to the components and uh, we check out, okay, we haven't loaded that first. Let's go to that and load into project. Once it loads inside, so when you go to the components, we have five different uh, families that we have created. In fact, it's the same family with the five different uh, sizes or sets of parameters that we have created. So let's first create, uh, you know, first let's just make a um, floor, simple floor. And uh, let's make walls. Let's just choose a storefront. Let's uh, let's set the top constraint to level two, and uh, we don't need a wall center line. Right. Once you press the space bar, it's gonna get fine.
Okay, so let's um, let's go to manage and uh, materials. You know, for for quickly adding materials, you can use this paint tool. So let's go to asphalt and uh, let's go to realistic. And another asphalt shingle material has been added into it. Now let's go to our rendered view and let's check this out. Uh, so guys, before the the rendered view, you know, um, check this out. I've skipped a small part of the video. Uh, you know, I've I've made this sort of a studio and I've added the components. So you know the components that we made are in our, in our family editor. Uh, I've loaded it into the project and then within the project I made this small studio and uh, you know these are the pillows that I added and uh, I've even added these uh, low poly components into it uh, so I think it's gonna look nice but uh, you know uh, the components that we made we can find them inside uh, components once we click this and uh, so this is the family that we made all right these are the five different sizes the body the king the queen the standard and the super standard and uh, you know we're going to check the final view out but let me just uh, change this to let's go to paint and uh, let's uh, give it uh, a black color will that be fine uh, let's go to uh, materials and uh, Let's go to metal black. All right, let's just choose metal black. So let's go check the rendered view out now. So this is the the final rendered view, and uh, as you guys can see, I've made a small studio, and uh, check this edge DRI out. We're in the middle of the mountains, and we have a flying studio in the air, and uh, you know I've even made the small path, and this is uh, sort of a you know a pillow exhibition let's just call it that and uh, check the wooden floor out so these are the five pillows that I've made and I've even changed the the material of it right so it looks quite good so as you guys uh, can see this is the the standard uh, size which is uh, what is the standard size? 51 by 66 centimeters and check the pillow out when I change the, the material, it looks quite realistic. It looks quite good. So, of course, you can change that. You can edit the profile if you want to. So, this is the first pillow, which is the standard. And this is the second pillow, which is the queen, which is a bit bigger. And then we have the king. And uh, we have the super standard. And uh, check this uh, exhibition out. I think we can even change the lightning of it a little bit. Okay. Now it looks good. Check this out. I've made this small studio very quickly. So this is the super standard, and uh, this is the the body, the the biggest one. And then I've I've placed this bed right here, and check these pillows out. So these are the pillows that uh, we have made. And I, you know, let me change the orientation of the sun. But. Um, <laughs> Okay, this get this for now. Let's just do this. So these are the pillows that uh, I made inside Revit software, and I loaded them into this. So as you guys, you know, you can see that it looks extremely realistic. And the the top, these two pillows are the ones which came with the bed, right? These are, uh, I mean, HD family. So as you can see, there's not much difference between the ones that we made and the ones that came along with the bed. So, which tells us that our modeling was on track and it wasn't that bad. So, this is the, the pillow that I've designed. And uh, you can check the profile out. It's too sharp. <laughs> we can improve that later on. And this is the pillow which came with the family. So, it's fine. And uh, this is the small, you know, the the pillow exhibition. <laughs> and uh, let's, let's check the lights out. Can we? Yes, we can. So, this is sort of a night or you could say the afternoon view of this 
and uh, these are some guys who are checking the exhibition out in the middle of the mountains <laughs> uh, so this is uh, you know this was another short video regarding pillows inside uh, Revit and how to present them and how to model them so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something from it um, have a nice day